Ah! We have... A fight. <laughs> the first fight. Uh, oh wait, I can burn. Okay, I have five. I can. Oh, not Gregor. Cute. This is where we'll go separate ways for a short while. Charm and I have business to attend to here. Virgil, where are you going? <laughs> business? Why? What is it this time? Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't ask him too many questions. Mermaid perfume? Virtual said looking straight at the advertisement before us. Bottles of mermaid perfume have started straight from their left fin special discount. So mermaids are here. <laughs> but considering he's looking at the advertisement, I'm gonna assume that's a lie. <laughs> Thou art planning to procure some of us, or us as well. Quite curious, am I, of that mermaid perfume? And what other curiosities of the Great Lake await us, I wonder? Well, and mermaid products. Okay, so mermaids are like straight up a thing. <laughs> And now, thank you, it's an ice cream. Sardine whale flavor. Oh, ew. Ugh. How is that appetizing to you? Sardine whale flavored ice cream? Sardines are quite the savory nosh, even if they do have a funny look to them. But in ice cream, Heathcliff! <laughs> Unless I am more keen to learn of the flavors of the Marlin Whale ice cream. You know not accompany us to our destination, dear guide. I've done my job as your guide. I point you to the right direction and that's where my responsibility ends. It's not my job to accompany you all the way there. Well, you may be correct, your words come across as rather impersonal. Then you heard me right, Yisong. I don't intend to make friends with any of you, nor do I want to. Don't let these small talks give you the wrong impression. You were laid to the location of the Botany Corp branch housed in the Golden Bell. They should be waiting for us there. This is a bit spooky. I don't see anyone here. What's up with that? I'm totally going to let you doubt me. This is the location I was really played. So we got here first. Bloody brilliant. Before team, more like belated, isn't it? We've arrived one hour and 30 minutes behind schedule. 
지난번 제이사에서 만난 LCCB 대원들은 훨씬 전부터 To be agents, we met a Jaker party on the scene and I'm sure that comment reminded everyone of the same duo It did for me too Thinking about them even for a brief moment is Snores? It appears that they've elected to sleep in lieu of our appearance. Effie, Sod, we didn't deserve you to. <laughs> ah, the pirate look! Those are our guides! I thought it might be the case. Oh, ain't none of you gonna watch, eh? What the hell's wrong with you a lot? Then why didn't you take that into account before you left? Coming from the corner of the shipping container, rises from their nap and stretches. They sound oddly aggressive. My my! Hong Lu, wait! Your badge is upside down, remember? Always to keep your appearance tidy! Huh? What's this sticky red thing on your... On a chair, he's hung an upside down LCB agent badge. It was soaked in blood. <laughs> I'd hope this badge would have a more dramatic effect. Oh, crap! Are the LCB people dead? Let's see here. Limbus Company before Team Team Leader. Yeah, okay, pirates killed these before team. Never was loitering around in our territory. I've got to say, hey, that was bravely stupid. <laughs> that sorry production was an insult to art. Get to the point before I S N Y K. Must N Y C. Phew, lad, so tardy yet so impatient. Why don't you give us a listen? First, give us a listen. You're looking for the golden whatchamacallit, aren't you? What have you done to the team later? Hold your horse and now, lad's alive and well. This is a hostage negotiation. Oh, that's why it was filed with kidnappers. <laughs> That makes more sense now for the chapter name. <laughs> this ain't me first ransom radio, if ye, you know what I mean. It's simple, give us the cash and we return your friend. We don't get the cash, and we give your friend an arm time to burial in a shipping container. Right here. Kidnappers, eh? Pieces of shite. Well, well, I wouldn't do that if I were you, laddie. Think before you act, eh? Anything goes wrong and your friend bites. It's very straightforward if I do say so myself. Just... Just do as we say, and you and your friend of yours continue on your merry adventure. Go back looking for your golden lechebacar. Full-on gourmet tour guide for you, just to sweeten the deal. Bloody maggot. Okay, okay, gotcha. I see what we got going on here, give us some time to skip. That's this, why don't you? Look, enough unnecessary, unless they'll do nothing but draw unnecessary attention to us. And if our impulse to actually get the LCB agent killed, bringing up good points, Gregor! They held the upper hand, yep. They absolutely kidnapped him by chance, so just he was just happened to be here, so they caught him. Mm. 
Thank you. He's a back. <laughs> you're you're just the thing that's gonna scare me right now. When it comes many women are even later in our adventure, such braids and villainy has henceforth not been encountered. Grotesquery without a cause. Let's take their friends after us. Friends who may be involved with a powerful loyal syndicate. Our chance of victory is slim should such an event come to pass. We do not possess enough intel on you, Corp, to effectively maneuver this situation. Yeah, we don't even know how big the syndicate that behind this guy is. From the way he said his lines, it probably isn't his first time doing this, right? Also a chance there's a small fries, isn't there? Yeah, maybe? Do we want to risk it? There's small fries, let's crush them all. But we don't know. Could be their syndicate so small that it's possible to be traced. Ah, mm. Too many unknown terribles. <laughs> so we don't know anything. Great. If we don't pay up. <laughs> They'll kill a hostage and won't even leave a body for us to find. We kinda need it. All kinds of awful images and all this ominous speculation begin to overwhelm us. The so-called kidnappers were crowding among amongst themselves, giggling and chattering. They knew our options were limited. Yeah, we don't really have any options. Okay, and then I'm going to start off by asking how much they want. Dante, you can't ask, though. <laughs> we were out of our element here. The best I can do is try to get gather inf some information, at least. Well, short aspirated sigh escaped Ishmael's lip. She had been standing here this whole time, arms crossed, whilst over the perhoon. Her poon rested upon her chest. You're gonna pay them? Those bastards? Are you crazy? What else can we do? Even now, the hostage. I don't care about it, your excuses. I only care to know if this really is the best course of action to come up with. I ain't asked about the advantage of decisions. Are unnecessary. Yeah, you're as predictable as always. Ishi, calm down. He's gathering information by asking them how much. If anything, we can say we're gonna pay them and then have them just lead them to him and then kill the syndicate. There's options by actually playing along for a minute. Plus, we're broke. The Limbus Company ain't gonna pay for shit. The doubt that Emmons is born nation as well. It doesn't matter how how competent of a sea dog you are. They're not giving me an order. They didn't forbid me from doing anything. So what's your problem here? I just can't sit here and watch this play out. Ishmael stood to the kidnappers. It was plain in from her tone and expression that she did not care one bit about what the other sinners said. I gladly accept the consequences. She shot me a fleeting glance before raising her harpoon. For insubordination, manager. Then thrust the well sharpened harpoon right into one of the kidnappers' forehead. Uh, 
The entire course of action from start to finish was so full of absolute confidence that no one even thought to stop her. I couldn't either. Oh, oh, F. Maybe she was right. The kidnapper suffered a total obliteration of the forehead. Oh, wait, is Dante actually starting to get this? You need... Dante, you need to start actually saying these in thought and whatever. Ishmael, what did you just... What did you just do? Sinclair was the first to snap out of the stupefied silence. Ah, oh, Ishmael might be more familiar. I know that the dude might already be dead. Ah, the ultimation they took tosses. We just put him at risk because of us. He could... Sinclair was trembling hard. I couldn't tell if it's the welling tears he was holding back or an uncontrollable fury. <laughs> Just like then, just like back when then with Effie and with Slud. It's only a few months ago. Don't tell me you've moved on already. What? Sinclair's memories. I saw an image of Slod and Effie, both smiling. Both were excellent field agents. And because they were both excellent agents, they suffered to their last moment before our eyes. Helplessly watching as they slowly expired in front of him at his old home at that. That day must have been scorched into his memories. I recalled Ishmael's vision that I witnessed back at the boatworks. Was that also a moment that was burned into her memories, I wonder? Ishmael didn't seem to find Sinclair's questions worth answering. She strode toward one of the, one of the cl oh, shipping containers and kicked it open. A body that had been dead for so long that its complexion and consistency barely resembled that of a living human slumped to the floor. This one's been dead for at least a week. And of course, is an RLCB agent. From the looks of it, this one was a tourist visiting Marlin Port, probably loaded too. The if they could afford to travel to the Great Lakes just for sites, they would have been able to afford whatever ransom the pirates demanded. Kidnap, extort, execute. These syndicates have been repeating these steps for a good while at U-Corp. Even as their names and organizations change with time, they're everywhere, like vermin. It would be more accurate to call them pirates here. They'll never return the hostages. They kill, I'm asking for more and more ransom until the money well dries up. No offense, Ishmael, but you could have started with this sect and then stabbed the dude in the forehead. <laughs> Just saying. Ishmael poked the body with her foot. Then they killed the hostages, just like they did this one. And then... By numerous the prevalence of such strategies must be, how can this be where their fourth doth the no hero to rise to the occasion and put a stop to these villains? This be a place of tourism, is it not? It usually means there's a bigger fish looking out for those these small fruits. Matters not to let such villains run rampant in the city is must be the case that the victims of the city are yet unaware of this travesty. May have, perhaps they were preoccupied attending to others in need. Indeed, not all, else but that explains this. Messages from the Honorable Association to the Dunga about their place. It's about time I mean, woke up from your delusions. I've had enough of your ramblings about justice. Your villains. Uh, you know what? Never mind. It's like I'm talking to a brick wall. You're not going to listen to me anyway. 
so frustrating just to have to sit here and just... The shabbiness is why we can't get anything done in time. By now, we should have been talking to the LCB agent, getting the intel we need. Ishmael and started around the wrath and pa darted around with wrath and patience and anxiety. A metaphorical storm and an amalgamation of senses. She was a billowing in wild, helpless, billowing wildly, helpless in the tempest. I couldn't even hope to hold her steady. No, he got touched on you brought this on yourself. This is our waters. Do you even know what syndicate you dogs just... Yeah, if we're doing this, let's, then let's get it over with. Ishmael's real frustrated right now. Did she get an attack power boost? Just... Oh, why are you already... Sergeant Hatter would need to have a less than SP and start a turn to attack her. Start encounter? Why, though? That wasn't a thing before. This chapter is fucking fish mail right now, and I don't like it. No, Rimshu! Okay. Um Gloom Pride Gloom Gloom Should be good. I love Spice Bush. Okay, Pierce looks like it's fatal. Okay, I'm just gonna do win rate. Cause everyone's staggered. Dominating favor? Favor? Fa new, uh, neutral? Favor? Dominating? Favored? Eh. You should be fine, you see. You see, should be fine. I hope. Very nice. That thing with Ishmael has me a little concerned. Wait, I have... There's nothing showing the progress. But I would still show some progress, even though... I know the full chapter isn't out yet. <sighs> Alright. I don't 
like this constant negative 25 sanity at start. Makes me nervous. Hung Lu, what the fuck? Yeah, I did this one. ちょっと、<笑> Oh, neutrals should still be fine ish. I have so many people doing pride. ビバスはこのボスを見せるのは終わりです。この時間にはちょっと I don't want to crack open these shipping containers one by one and go through mountains of rubbing, running corpses. You can still point, right? Please. We'll get another boss, mark it on the map with your finger. I wasn't sure where and she picked it up, but Ishmael was carrying a travel brochure on Marlin Port. She shoved it into the pirate's face, he struggled for a moment before pointing to a location on the map. As soon as her trembling finger reached the paper, Ishmael waits. Well, we have our next stop. What are we waiting for? Ishmael walked out, leaving nothing but the shipping containers full of both old and fresh bodies behind. What are the odds this LCB agent we are, we're supposed to meet is still alive? Depends on how rich they think we are. He could already be dead then. Because Gregor knows we're broke. <laughs> ah. Even if the worst comes to pass, we should find his body that at least gives us something. If that's all we'll find at the end of this, his corpse, Ishmael, I don't think I could forgive. Huh? Who? Me? No, us. We didn't even try to save them. Faust. I am listening. 
Should we do something? Is she going to be okay? I mean, Ishmael. I can give you answers regarding her insubordination and her emotional state. But this is not a matter in which Faust answers can be of much assistance. Naira's behavior could have resulted in on-the-spot execution in any other organization. Punishing the censor is not a part of the authority given to you, but there must be penalties benefiting your actions for proper management. I wish you always on my side. Pretty much always, now that I think about it. I have been a leader of men once, as you are now, I can sympathize with your troubles. I don't know if I can manage Ishmael anymore, I just don't. Though it looked like she was acting rash, maybe it was... Maybe she knew the right thing to do in this scenario. But Ishmael suddenly decides to quit or something. Also, that leads proceed to educate me on the various clauses that prevent Ishmael from doing... from quitting. But it's not like I could force her to come along should this hostility escalate. Besides, she'd already acted without my orders earlier. She did say that she'd follow my orders, but I wasn't sure how long that would last. That doesn't matter. We don't need there to be 12 sinners. They're saying that we leave Ishmael. I wonder for many years. I have wandered for many years in far far lands before making my journey here, and I've done this with steadfast determination. For a single clause, uh, for a single clause on my contract with the company. Kimberly faced all the hardships the journey entails, adversity, conflict, loss, and comrade are simply facts and quest that I must weather. Truth be told, I expected all of them to happen at some point in our journey. Oh, I will always remain by your side, of course. She smoothly added the last part, but... But there was a growing suspicion at the back of my mind that maybe not even it... That maybe not everyone felt a sense of belonging from this group. Maybe I was the only one who saw a sense of belonging from them, that we'd fight as one no matter what ordeal this journey threw our way. I feel that way, Dante. Your song feels that way, I think. After chapter four, it felt that way. Don probably also feels that way. Those are the only, like, three I can think of. I'm still sticking with this, man. Uh, the location is marked by the pirate's blood led us to... The entrance of a club. Faint music could be heard echoing from behind the doors. So this is the place. Any of us been to a loud, flamboyant, delict dance club like this before? If I had to guess, my bet would be on you. I, true, Roja would be the one I would have assumed. Flashy bar like this at my back streets? Yeah, I mean, you fit very well in the casino. Which is the closest parallel I have to this. I doubt it would have had much business back there, hmm? People sometimes hold secret backstreet parties, but Sonia somehow always is caught on. So why are we talking about this? Have you seen Intante bouncers at the gate? Welcome, how many do you have with you today? Two, come on man, don't you remember me? I'm on the list. She looks like she has like a more classic sailor girl outfit. 
and him a more pirate outfit. Ah, my apologies. Please enter. They're checking something, I guess, before letting him. We gotta squeeze in there all smooth somehow. Ishmael, don't. <laughs> Ishmael's gonna cause a scene. Well, since Roach is out, next in line is. Huh? Me? Huh? <laughs> He looks like he would have been the bouncer. What the hell are you blathering about? I'll smash your skull in. <laughs> I did that of a compliment if I were you, Heath. Should I? <laughs> he doesn't know. Uh. Sorry to disappoint, but my syndicate was less about music and dance and more about blood loyalty and things like that. And my small watering hole or old pub bloke looked in some fancy clubber. Getting sloshed drinking from old rickety tables, that's more like it. Me. Music screams of fear and pain, deluxe walls painted red with blood, dance, people with crushed joints forced to dance. Yeah, that's not a club, Brioche. Well, I can't think of anyone else then. I have been so Meru? <laughs> Meru what? Uh -huh. Quite often. Often? I need to read Stranger, cause oh my, Medu, this feels out of character. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I am not. I fail to see why that is difficult for you to accept. It was merely one of the places I visited where I used to wander in search of life's joys. 저 클럽의 절차를 관찰해 보니 프라이빗 클럽으로 보인다. 프라이빗 클럽은 방문하기 전 입구에 서 있는 문지기들의 허가를 받아야 입장 가능하다. Cursory observation, the procedures reveal that it is, in fact, a private club. As a general rule, visitors must receive the bouncer's permission prior to entry. 문지기들은 대체로 평균 이상의 덩치를 소유하고 있었으며 무기 또한 소유하고 있다. Most bouncers are above average mass and are more likely to be alarmed. 사이 지나다니면. Key elements getting past the bouncers are. 일반적인 클럽이라면. You'd be right if this was just any other club. Ishi? No, she's gonna stab him in the head again. Ishmael walked past us and pointed us to the club entrance. This is the home of the leader of a syndicate. The question you should be asking is what are the other ways of entering this establishment? And I'm sure the answer lies with a syndicate mentor. Easy enough, right? What brings you here if I may ask? I... <gasps> I'm Queequeg's friend? You're whose friend? Queequeg. You recognized that name, didn't you? At the mere mention of the name, the bouncer's expression changed from that of an indifference to disbelief. Wait. The bouncer will whisper something into the radio. Is he really going to let us in? Are you truly a friend of this Queequeg? What if I am? Where is Queequeg? It's the boss asking. Right, so your boss is in the club, huh? I ask again, where is Queek? Twin hopes are on our way, I repeat, we are... I thought we were trying to sneak in! No. I just wanted to know if their boss was home. We should be able to get all the intel we want from them. Oh, here I thought Kui Hui might be in the club. But. Was. Okay, in this 
version of the world was Queequeg a syndicate member formally? Potentially? Not just a whaler, but also former pirate? Maybe? Current pirate? I honestly do. My jaw, uh, my brain is like. Does that mean Quickly is alive? Granted, they are asking where Quickly is. Quickly, most. If they're asking where Quickly is, mm, probably dead. But Ishmael potentially knows the connection with the Syndicate and Quickly to be able to name drop Quickly. Oh, my brain. That's very interesting. I'm so curious. Definitely seemed reluctant to use the name Quickbag too. But potentially also by saying the name it ends up getting questions asked of who is Quickwig by the cynics and Dante. Uh, dominating, 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 favorite, favorite. Unopposed, neutral, dominating. Favorite, favorite, dominating, dominating, pose, unopposed, dominating, dominating, pose. <laughs> I'll use my Meru for a little bit. Soon sweet to Nanello. I mean, is it letting us in if we killed their guard, Song Lu? I can't believe it. Let's go. I wanted to correct him that the bouncers weren't letting us in, that they were either face down in some ditch or fleeing, and we're just letting ourselves in. But I guess I wasn't in the mood. Hey! You here with anyone? Yes, I have 12 companions with me. 12? There, get him. Sorry for disturbing you. Let's oh. our famous Marlin dance for our beloved Marlin port. Arms out like this, swing and lock, swing and lock. What's with all the booming bass? Feels as though the wa sound waves are vibrating my entire brain matter. Get out of my way or you'll all be sorry. 
Ishmael swung her mace, shattering a nearby table to pieces. And that was more than enough for the clubbers to realize the seriousness of the situation. They quickly ran to the exit and vacated the club. <sighs> Ishii, are you going to let out your frustrations enough to calm down soon? I hope. Roja, you're like the main one that does punchies or like the blunt damage. You... Uh, neutral. I guess Magic's now doing it too, so I guess they're not the only one. Favor, not opposed. Why is there struggles? Do that. I don't know why she would be. It feels like both people. Yeah, everyone's in stagger, so... <laughs> Double hit! Love it! <laughs> Oh god, we're on wave two. I thought we were already on wave two. How many in favored? Oh, you have a hat! You're fancier. Go. Nice. Oh, he has a hat and a beard. Looking like a regular. Oh, more than one of them too. Looking like a black beard around here. Uh. A lot of dominating. 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 Favored. Only can have a Okay, it didn't look like much change. Pretty much immediately as we talked to the bouncers, we had to find a different way to convince them to let us in. Immediate fight or. 
Oh, okay, immediate fight. Favored, favored, favored. One of those. Kinda wish you had done that on a non staggered enemy, Ryushu. Just saying. Oh shit. Okay. Dominating, one of both dominating favor. Oh, wait, dominating? Neutral struggle. Now I'm not. Oh, shit, another one turned, the other one turned into trouble. Fuck. I'm gonna hope it turns into stagger. That one is near dead. That one's staggered. You got it! You can do it, shit! Bully my youth song. I don't appreciate that. Yeah, I try to use ego against you. I don't care. Favored. Take those two. This should be good. Bring it with some. Even with you, some getting staggered, but still probably fine. They hit the 10 turn mark. Okay, We are at the club and defeated members of the syndicate that the kidnappers were a part of. Hopefully we can learn their boss's location soon.
걱정 마시오. 최후의 혈구 하나 남아있다. 어떻게 라도 보존 될 테니 내가 눈에 새겨지 I'm so curious at who their boss will be. Who would be that would have a reaction to Kuikwe? It's just like so baffling. What is this supposed to be? A Or someone to maybe even. Uh, Sinclair, it's already turned ugly. Go drink some milk before you start tossing around threats like that, laddie. I'm serious, talking the next thing getting smashed is your head. Your skull. <laughs> okay, let's calm down. Captain ain't here. If it's the hostages you're looking for, the first mate should know. Directions. Last room at the end of the uh, corridor. Go. Ah. Not that way, get out of the club. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I feel like the dude's lo Oi, kid, you're getting better at this, aren't you? I don't want to get compliments for doing something like this. I just think we have to get to the hostages as soon as possible. This is probably the first time I've seen Sinclair, like, have...
like have a moment where the prior chapter really impacted him. Yi Song, I think it comes through much clearer and almost more immediate of he starts talking more in 4.5. He is already talking more, trying to get along with people more before he was like on the outskirts, barely speaking and less really spoken to or if he really had something to say on rare occasions. But it's almost immediate that you see the chapter four going through that has his mentality shift to start opening up more and speaking more and being less closed off. And that's kind of why I think that chapter did a lot more for my liking of Yi Song compared to definitely Gregor and Roja. Sinclair upped a little bit, but I think it's also just gone back down with time of... I felt bad for him during the chapter, but nothing changed as much after the chapter. So seeing him have sort of that guilt, I guess, with Saw and Nevi, and wanting to do better for whoever this new person might be and wanting to not have those same results again I th think is showing more than any and more than anything in chapter 4 did of him acting differently because of those events that that to me is a little interesting I want to see it more with Roja and Gregor. Gregor got boosted just for me reading the damn, having the damn man's book. And the fact that he's from a Czech author, which is my, like, ancestral heritage. <sighs> oh. 